Yo guys, how's it going? My name is Cosmos and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, dudes, I'm going to be hitting you guys up with another amazing video on the channel. And this video is going to be how to get the win stuff upgraded and built by round four. So by the time you're in round four, man, you will have this. And on round two, you can have your non-upgraded stuff built. So it is absolutely insane, this strategy, dude. So you're going to need one gobble gum for this, but I recommend two. But all you're going to need is the shopping free gobble gum. This requires a whole bunch of luck. But guys, if we can go ahead and hit 25 likes on this video, that would be insane, dude. So go smash up that like button. Let's see if we can go hit that, man. But guys, what you're going to need is you're going to need shopping free. And if you can have extra credit, that does help. Or even like a double points gobble gum, that also helps as well. There's a lot of gobble gums that can help. But shopping free is what I would uh, recommend for you guys to have. So once you got shopping free, what you're going to want to do is you're going to get shopping free first up on the round. And you're going to want to open up the whole map. And you're going to want to make sure you open up the excavating area, which I actually didn't. Uh, but you're going to want to open up that. Just open up everything that you can. And then after that, you're going to need to get lucky here. But while you are using your shopping free, you're going to want to look for where the first robot is coming. So for me, the first robot was at the spawn. So I went ahead and got in that robot and went easy, easy gains. And we got in that robot, got the first part. And on round one, we also had, we had all the parts for this. So I went ahead, collected the other two robots, which came after the others, but it'll take a little bit of waiting, but you'll get it eventually. And once you've got all your parts, then you're going to want to go ahead and get the disc. So the disc is located around the stamina up area. And if you have not opened that door already, make sure you do go ahead, open up that if you can. But if not, guys, I've got some strategies for actually saving up money. So if you're short, I was short. So what you want to do to save up money is you're going to want to make sure that you go ahead and go and dig up all of the dig sites around the map. That you either want a zombie point or you want a zombie to spawn out of the hole. And once you've done that, you'll get a little extra points. Also, make sure you get the free 100 points for going prone under the perks. And also, turn all the generators to get another 300 points after that, dudes. And once you've got that, you should be able to go ahead and get enough points to open up that door, grab the disc, and go ahead and go get the crystal from where uh, there is a buildable. So if you go down the wind staff tunnel, go ahead, go down there, Put in that, get the crystal, and then you should be able to build your staff on round one. I built my staff on round two, guys. Uh, but that was because I didn't have enough points to open up the excavator site, because I actually didn't do that. But you can, guys can get that round one easy. Get that built round one. I got it round two. Uh, but definitely you can get that built round one nice and easily, man. And once you've done that, dudes, then we're going to start the upgrade. So you're going to want to go ahead, go down, and start the upgrade for your thing. So if you go back down through the wind stuff tunnel that we went through before, you're going to want to put in the puzzle. I'll even put a picture up on screen of what the puzzle is. So go ahead, make sure you do put in that puzzle, then it will give you a completion sound. Then come out of there, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to shoot three different uh, little... I'm not sure what you'd call them, little, I'm just going to call them little smoke, smoke towers, I don't even know what to call them, dude. You're going to want to shoot them, and then you'll be able to go down into the excavator site. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go around to these three things. So, there's one, um, one of the smoke towers, I'm going to call them, dudes. One of the smoke towers just across from Jug, there is one just across from Stamina, and there is one where you go ahead and pick up the last part for the lightning staff. So, once you've gone ahead and got all of those things done, then you're going to be ready to go ahead and go to the excavator side and put in the, use the four levers around the map. I'm pretty sure you guys, if you're going for the speed run, I'm pretty sure you're going to know how to do this, but you want to line up all the four levers in that area to make sure that they are all yellow. Then shoot the little ball in the middle where the staff pedestals are. And then once you've done that, dude, you're going to want to go back down and get some kills. So I had this down round three. And uh, basically, I had only three quarters of the round left. So it takes about 20 zombies. And it'll probably take uh, all your round three and just a little bit of round four to get this stuff. And then, my friends, you'll have this stuff ready to go. And you'll be Gucci, my friends. So, guys, that is it, man. If you guys want to... I'm currently working on an ice stuff and also uh, a lightning stuff tutorial for this. But, guys... If you did enjoy, make sure you do leave a like, dude, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for like, uh, thank you for, thank you for dropping by on the video, man. I do appreciate, it, dudes. But guys, let's aim for 25 likes, dudes. I know we can smash it, but without further ado, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.